The Onin War of 1467 marked a great turning point in Japanese history. It is largely considered responsible for Japan's Warring States period in which regional warlords known as daimyo battled for control of the shogunate, or the position of military dictator of Japan. By the Warring States period, the shogunate was greatly crippled on account of the Onin War, a government which once commanded the respect and power of an entire nation now watched idly as Japan plunged into a civil war that would dictate the future of the country. The Onin War was a result of a conflict over who would secede the incumbent shogun, Ashikaga Yoshimasa. Yoshimasa was regarded as a largely ineffectual leader. As a patron of the arts, he had little interest in being shogun, and so, as his domain began to decay, he decided at the age of 29 that he desired to resign his post. As Yoshimasa had no son, he called upon his younger monk brother to secede him. His brother, Ashikaga Yoshimi, accepted the shogun's offer and went to the capital Kyoto to begin the secession process. To the surprise of many, in 1465 the shogun's wife, Hino Tomiko, gave birth to a son, Ashikaga Yoshihisa. This greatly complicated the matter as the shogun's brother and would-be heir refused to give up his claim to the shogunate while the shogun's wife insisted her new son was the rightful heir. To support her claim, she enlisted the help of the powerful daimyo Yamana Sozin and his clan. On the other side of the conflict, Yoshimi had the support of another influential daimyo, Hosokawa Katsumoto. The stage was set for war and though officials from the Ashikaga shogunate attempted to mediate the situation, open conflict broke out in 1467 around the capital city. At the outbreak of the war, both sides were relatively evenly matched. Yamana's Army of the East was only slightly outnumbered by Hosokawa's Army of the West, with both sides wielding roughly 80,000 men. Both armies mustered around Kyoto, where a stalemate would ensue until Hosokawa's troops burnt down a Yamana mansion in May 1467. In July of the same year, the current shogun, Yoshimasa, declared the Yamana to be rebels, greatly damaging their morale. In the same month, fighting escalated, and hundreds of the once great capital's buildings burnt to ash. As the fighting continued, Yamana pushed Hosokawa back to the northeast sector of the city while Yamana troops pressed the attack from the southwest. Things grew ever more grim for Hosokawa as 20,000 reinforcements under daimyo Ouchi Masahiro joined the Yamana ranks. In a last-ditch effort to gain support, Hosokawa was able to secure possession of the emperor before his palace was stormed by a large Yamana force. Hosokawa's support from the central government continued to lower the morale of Yamana forces. A stalemate began to develop. Though Hosokawa attempted two offensives early in 1468, they proved to be very unsuccessful. A large trench said to be 10 feet deep was dug between the opposing armies, and it seemed no one would ever win. However, in a very strange turn of events, Ashikaga Yoshimi the shogun's brother, who was supposed to be heir, defected to the Yamana in support of the infant heir, Yoshihisa, in 1469. As such, the shogun named the infant his successor, and Yoshimi was declared a rebel and a traitor by the emperor. As the war continued, the city of Kyoto saw increased devastation. Ironically, in 1473, both Yamana Sozin and Hosokawa Katsumoto died. The leaders of their respective armies and the main rivals in this war. This confused both sides. It seemed ever clearer that the war would be fruitless. 
morale dropped especially for the Yamana as the label Rebel continued to degrade them. Finally, on December 17, 1477, Aochi Masahiro, who is now in command of Yamana forces, burnt down his sector of Kyoto and withdrawal, ending the war. Ironically, by the end of the war, neither side had really accomplished any of its goals, and Kyoto was devastated. A document from the time known as the Onin Ki states, The flowery capital, which we thought would last forever, to our surprise, is to become a lair of wolves and foxes. The Ashikaga shogunate had lost almost all of its central authority and was now more or less a puppet of the Hosokawa clan. As a result, the rest of Japan plunged further into factionalism. For example, in Yamashiro province, the war spread to the Hadakeyama clan, which split in half and entered a great stalemate with itself that ravaged the province's countryside. Fed up with war, Peasants formed the Iki army in 1485, which established their own government in the province. This discontent spread quickly throughout Japan. In Kaga province, an Iki army rose up and joined with a group of militant Jodo Shinsu Buddhists known as the Iko. After overthrowing the lords of Kaga province, they established a fortress on the Yodo River. They would play a major role in the following Warring States period, in which instability caused by the Onin War reigned supreme, leading to civil war throughout Japan. Warlords struggled in the power vacuum to create their own central authority for generations to come. Hey, you made it. You survived to the end of this godforsaken video. If you would do me a huge favor leave a like because this shit took me hours to make and if you want more in the future let me know have a wonderful day